Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. Today we are looking at Mistral Manor. It's by Pandasaurus, cutest name ever. I'll show you where we are on the map in a second. But just so that you can see the overall estate. Wow. <laughs> oh, the home is lovely. What a nice style. My blue roofs come from a separate mod. I'll try and remember to leave you the link for it. All right, let's get down and have a closer look. Okay, so as you see, super beautiful property, fits right into the landscape. We are right here. You have to find it and then um, that's a mod. So not too far from Fort Greymoor, pretty much southeast of Morthal. All right. Um, so yeah, once you get here, first thing to do is have a look in this little camp. In the knapsack, you'll find a letter or a note rather that will send you down to the river find a lock box with a key in it and that will get you into the home all right so around the outside however we've got some interesting things like this little kind of ruined wall around the estate with this watchtower giving you some spectacular views arrow storage right there you can just sit down and gaze i've got two mammoths and a blinking giant hanging around for some reason i don't know why they seem to be you know <laughs> following me all right so carrying on around target practice no problem beautiful well this home honestly when you get inside so many lovely features but outside also and do you know I can see the mod author's inspiration he quoted Elysium and Ray X End and I can see both I can see Elysium here look at this how nice Skyforge look at the way the smelter is sort of built into the mountain rock very nice here I like this a lot there's also some planters not many but a few and a log pile, somewhere to sit outside. A back gate, super nice. Right, let's get inside and have a look. So yeah, pick up the key from the lock box. The note will explain everything that you find in that knapsack. And uh, there is a handy picture to show you the location of the lock box. All right. Rather unromantically named marker storage unit. <laughs> so it's a nice entrance way. It's warm, cosy looking. I like the wood. Some flowers, a little seating area, somewhere to take your boots off. Neither Inigo nor Bunny have come in with me, so that's kind of a shame. Look at this big room. Lovely dining area. Can you see Elysium? I can definitely see Elysium here. It doesn't have all the clickies though that Elysium has. Um, so just so you know. We have a lovely oven, a butter churn, a cooking pot, a very attractive kitchen. You <laughs> Plenty of storage in this house also, by the way. I think the decoration is terrific. And the storage is nearly all named, as well as having some generic, you know. And it's quite a large home, but doesn't feel too large, if you know what I mean. Bags of weapon racks around here, that's going to look so nice when it's all decorated up. This little area for your alchemy. Lovely. Very nice indeed. Another lockbox. Anything in the wardrobe? Oh, little bits. Little bits and pieces. Okay, so incorporated into the general decoration of the house, as well as the arcane vault, um, which we'll go and see in a bit. Um, there are places to store some of your special things, which is terrific. This cosy area here. Look how nice. More bookcases. 
And then, oh wow, look at this. This is your follower's room. If only Inigo had come in, I think he would love it. Look at the bath, oh my god. Ooh, you'll be pleased to hear that yours is equally spectacular. Oh, that is so pretty. I am digging it. So yeah, this is a terrific followers quarters. So I think three beds. Nice. And as you see, stairs to go down and of the back door. Look at the decoration though, above the staircase. Let's finish off on this floor. I'll show you your room. So you go down this corridor past the lovely artwork. <laughs> I think you've moved from somewhere, haven't you? And you. Oh, they're so creepy Skyrim mannequins. What the hell? Why? Why did you do this to us, Bethesda? So, plenty of bookcases, a lovely library corner, this. Very nice indeed. Somewhere to put Patima's skull, Pelagius' hip bone. <laughs> and yeah, I am feeling, I am feeling it. Very lovely. So, through here, the wardrobe, you'll need the key for this, and I'll show you where that comes in a moment. Uh, that's the entrance to the crypt. And again, I'll, we'll go down there in a tick. I'll, we'll finish showing you this room first. So as you see, your bathroom. Wow. How nice is this? I love this little touch right there. Just putting some, you know, like their towels. And you've got that gorgeous mosaic at the bottom of your bath. Oh, so pretty. And the, the um, ivy also. Awesome. Somewhere for the Red Eagle's Bane. Oh, I love that so much. What a nice touch. So, wardrobe. That one just shows you the inside to activate your clothes storage. Very lovely bed. Look at that magical lantern. So pretty. At this desk so here you'll find the keys for the vault and the crypt and journals i found two journals so far it gives you some awesome backstory to this house as does the the note which kind of kicks it off look at this what a beautiful place for your paragons oh that's lovely so nice this whole room is beautiful uh, so yeah Again, an extra feature which I very much enjoy. I just love it when mod authors do give us a story to go with our homes. Can you two just head back to your proper locations, which I'm assuming is on there? Actually, you know, you just have to put something on them and they'll be fine. They will snap into place. Creepy, creepy things. <clears throat> and speaking of creepy, isn't this delicious? Oh, I love it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm drawn to the dark side so much, but uh, yeah. Very nice in here. I like it a lot. If you were playing as a vampire, what a gorgeous room. Look at the light, the shadow from that candle. It's amazing. I find this house beautifully lit. So nice. There's another journal right there, by the way. Yeah, this is so cool. Oh my god. And uh, yeah, activate consume the wicked. <laughs> okay, it's lovely. All right, moving on. Okay, so going from here, we've then got the basement to look at, which is also, oh, stunning. I think you're going to enjoy this. I think it's beautiful and I can totally see the inspiration from Rex End in here. Ah, oh, look at it. So lovely and romantic. The lighting is beautiful. You'll need the key to get into this section. And there is so much storage in here. It, it it's amazing actually. The, the the amount of stuff that you can put here. And look how beautifully done. Oh my God, that's 
that's a thing of beauty right there. So, ebony blade and ebony mail. I won't go over every single thing. Um, I'm not sure if the mod description does show, uh, or does detail rather, every single thing that you can store here, but um, it's a lot. So if you don't fancy doing the Dragonborn Legacy, or even if you do, and you just want a unique home like this one, oh, I think it's amazing. Look at all this. Right up my alley. <laughs> Delicious. Kind of, uh, you know, dark and magical and all kinds of wonderful. I really enjoy this kind of home, I must say. And I feel like this is a labour of love, you know? A lot of work's been put into this. How cosy, look at this alchemy, uh, not alchemy, enchanting area. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> I know I'm waxing lyrical and banging on, but this suits me down to the ground. Somewhere for the Ghost Blade, Mythic Dawn Commentaries, Maroon's Razor. Oh, marvellous. How nice. More storage, more bookcases. And look how magical it looks. Beautiful seating area here. More bookcases, Oriel Shield. Oh, is that a read? Yeah, it is. Oh, another note. I haven't read that one yet. Oh, cosy. Have a glass of mead, sit on your throne. Why not? So, Dark Brotherhood, etc. Thieves Guild also. Everything represented. Black books. Wow. Oh, I really like it when you open up wardrobes and there's decoration in there already. Bula's Oath Blade. And the masks. Look at the colours, though. Whoa. All right, so that's a brief overview. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> I'm dying to know what you think about this. Personally, for me, it's uh, it's a, an absolute find. And I also like that it's free, um, but it comes with a story that explains everything. You know, it's not just, oh, here's a house I found. So, you know, you do have to work for it, um, which, yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm happy to do that. Give me a place like this and I will totally work for it. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to leave you with that picture. Stunning. Called at the end. Say thanks so much as always for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care and stay safe, everybody.